Hello and welcome to the show floor at KubeCon CloudNativeCon North America 2025. I'm here with Tim Hawken, one of the original engineers who helped create Kubernetes. So I wanted to know, Tim, what was it like in the early days of Kubernetes? In the early days, it was pure startup modes. High energy, everybody did everything. That sounds kind of stressful. How were people doing in the first year or so? I enjoyed it immensely. It was an incredibly stressful, busy year, but I had a really fun time doing it. We're both wearing incredible earrings. I love yours. I would love to trade for one, but I don't think mine will fit. <laughs> the logo here, you designed it originally. So what is the story behind the logo? The logo started as a joke sort of offhandedly, because the project was based on something called Seven. Kubernetes means the helmsman, the guy who drives the boat. Somebody said, well, we should do a seven-sided star or a ship's wheel. And I went home that night and I fired up Inkscape, which I knew nothing about. And that's basically what we have today with very few refinements. Boom, there you go, that startup mentality, get it done. What's your favorite innovation in GKE from recent years? We always talked about Kubernetes as two stories. One is a story of application developers, and the other is a story of cluster operators. Seeing more focus on the applications, the people who use it, and less focus on the people who run it in GKE, I think for me is the best part of that. What is one thing that you would really like to see implemented in Kubernetes? If I could wave a magic wand and have 100 more people come work on stuff, it would come, come work on the API machinery because as many people as are working on it, it's just not enough. And we're here celebrating 10 years of Kubernetes today with our wonderful t-shirts. So thank you so much, Tim. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for having me.